Viral posts online are showing delicious food and some outrageous concepts, and it's causing people to question whether it's too good to be true. Well, that just might be the case. Maya Eaglin shows us what experts are calling AI slop. A croissant in the shape of mudang, caviar topped fish and chips, a buffalo wing the size of a table, and bread loafers? Offerings posted on the Instagram of what appears to be the restaurant's more than 74,000 followers. On its website, Etho says it's the home of unreal flavors. Maybe because that's exactly what it is, not real. This restaurant does not exist. They have over 70,000 followers and every single photo looks like it's AI. Those mouth-watering meals, AI generated. Maybe it was the Jeff Bezos behind the bar that gave it away. But people online are confused, many believing it's a real top-rated restaurant based in Austin, Texas. We reached out for comment, but chatting with its 24-7 general manager, Giuseppe Fusilli, is less than helpful. And trying to make a reservation lands you at an interactive image of someone slapping a man in the face with an eel. It's the latest example in what experts call AI slop. An ocean of information all over the internet, much of it quite unreliable. With thousands of pages on Facebook dedicated to posting AI-generated images and fooling millions of users, flooding their followers with hundreds of images, hoping to drive engagement. But why? People are hungry for attention, and it seems like they will do anything to get it. Now, sometimes it has a financial motive. You want to become an influencer. Sometimes it's just ego. While we don't know anything about the people behind Ethos, there could be consequences to so much fake imagery clogging up our searches and feeds. It's a huge challenge if we can no longer trust our eyes or our ears, right? We are coming up against a very consequential election, and we've already seen and heard all kinds of things that just aren't true. One of the best ways you can stay safe online? Stay skeptical. Whether it's a cute croissant or a political soundbite. Some content on the internet is more than meets the eye.